to Nelson. Blitz comes. Nelson over the middle toward the end zone. He's got Ingle. What a grab! And a touchdown! On fourth down, Ingle with an athletic play at the goal line to go high to get it at the high point. And the Gophers take the lead. And Minnesota will have its first win against Nebraska since 1960. And it's a mass exodus of red flag fans heading out here at TCF Bank Stadium. Yeah, that was quite a scene in Minneapolis. Howard Glenn and Mike back here on BTN Live. The acting head coach is Tracy Clays for the Gophers, and he joins us now to talk about that win. And Tracy, you've been in Minnesota for a little while now, but you haven't had a win quite like that. Describe for me the atmosphere right after winning that game. Well, you know, it, it was a great feeling that the offense was able to go ahead and uh, score there at the end and put that game away so it didn't come down for a last drive for Nebraska. And it, it gave the kids, the fans, everybody there a chance to uh, in, enjoy the win. But, uh, you know, from the whole state, our, our kids, we, we put a lot of work into it. And, and from the coaches and players, we've seen the progress day to day and when you watch the film. But, you know, fans, they see progress when you, when you get the win. And it was great on the field after the game. Uh, see our kids have smiles on their faces and get to celebrate with the great people of Minnesota. And then uh, to go in the locker room and, and uh, join Coach Kill in there, it, it was quite a celebration, something that uh, all of us will always remember. You mentioned the offense right off the bat, and I think that's a great place to go to next. You only had three offensive touchdowns in Big Ten play combined, and then you had four on Saturday. How come? What was different? I thought we did a great job with the game plan, uh, the, the shifting and that, um, you know, I, I think slowed them down a little bit at first and allowed our offensive line, you know, to uh, get comfortable. And, and any, anytime you win a Big Ten football game by running the ball, you have to give the credit to the offensive line up front. We didn't allow a lot of penetration and uh, David Cobb did a great job of being patient and seeing the cuts and uh, just kept moving the chains for first downs. I think we averaged almost eight yards. Um, on first down and anytime you do that you know me being a defensive coach I mean to play second and short third and short all the time you're not going to win a lot of football games so uh, that first down success and our ability to run the ball um, uh, based off the shifts and motions uh, I, I think was the reason we had so much success on offense. Hey Tracy first of all congratulations again it's uh, been a long time since you worked for me at Kansas as a student assistant yeah. and I'm I'm really proud of you you've really developed into a top-notch coach. What? I, want, I want to talk about Rashid Hageman and yeah. your talented defensive tackle. You think about the interception against Northwestern. He's all over the field against Nebraska. You know, I, I've been waiting to see this guy play this way. It seems like he's finally coming to his own. Yeah, and you know, I think a lot of it is Rashid, he's gotten more comfortable with his role this year. I think at the first of the year, you know, uh, for him to be a leader and, and that, I, I'm not sure he knew how to handle it. And, and all of a sudden, the interviews he's had to do, and, and uh, I just think he's grown up, and each week he's got more mature. He's gotten comfortable with his role. And uh, I'll tell you what, one, he had one bad game in there, and, and it's our fault. We put too much on his plate. We moved him around too much, you know, because people were starting to double team him and uh, said, hey, we're going to throw that out, or she can just let you line up in one place and, and stun him a little bit. And, and with that, he's played with great effort and energy. I say on screen passes, he's all over. And uh, any, anybody who tries to block him one-on-one, -on -one, there's just nobody. I mean, he's too powerful, I think, to do that. And uh, it's nice to have that guy on defense. I think it makes everybody around you better. Coach, I want to ask you about um, yourself, really, and your responsibilities that you've had to take on as the acting head coach. How have they changed? Give us a little insight on what's been different now that you're the acting head coach. You know, one that takes a lot of time is just the media request that you have to do that uh, I'm, I'm not used to having to do. And then the second thing is, you know, being in the box where I've been for the last probably nine years is that you have all your charts and things in front of you. And, uh, you know, I like to have a Diet Coke. And it's like Coach made a good point. It's like being in the film room is what it is. And you're sitting up there watching the film to make adjustments. Now all of a sudden you go to the boundary. And besides the extra time for the media, I've had to spend extra time, you know, memorizing a couple of those charts that I can't have with me down there on the field and so uh, um, it, it's, it's taken a, 
a little bit more time each week, but uh, you know I have enjoyed it being down there on the boundary with the kids and the excitement of the game. And and uh, I always tell everybody I didn't like the TV timeouts, the box for how long they last, but uh, I enjoy them being on the sidelines because I get to go back. It gives me time to visit with the kids and and just see. And not one time during that game did I get the feeling our kids were started to panic and uh, and uh, seeing them being confident. I mean, I mean the whole confidence thing on the sideline is something that I have missed uh, in the box. I've always had to ask, hey, what, how are the kids feeling in that? And so uh, it's been a fun experience for me. Can you describe for us the reaction that the kids have when Jerry Kill is there in a locker room after a victory like you had Saturday? Coach is such a great competitor and uh, uh, he, he's very, um, he takes responsibility for whatever his job is and he tries to do the best. And, and I know him awfully well. And if, if we weren't playing well and things were struggling, he would blame himself. And uh, I think that's so unfair uh, for him to do that, but that's his personality. Um, so all of us as coaches and players, I mean, it is a motivating factor that uh, we care about him a lot. Uh, he's a great person. We want to make sure that we do the best we can. So if things don't go so well, he's not sitting there blaming himself. And uh, um, he, he's taught us very well. And uh, so far, you know, the principles in place, he's put him there. And, and we've just kind of executed his plan. And uh, that makes us all feel good. Tracy Clays, the acting head coach for the Gophers. Thanks so much for your time. Best of luck this weekend. Thanks for having me.